Lately, over on my um, Facebook page, Speak Your Truth, I've been talking about, of course, relationships and that kind of thing, of course, because I love talking about that. Uh, but not just relationships, but the relationship with yourself as well. I was talking about forgiveness recently. And some of the people, a few people were, of course, having, to me, I guess, kind of a hard time with the word forgiveness, I guess I'd say that, and wanted me to do a video, of course, about my um how I view forgiveness, what it means to me, and that kind of thing, which I did that. Um, you all can, of course, click the link in the bio and go over there and check it out. But I just want to say to you all, when it comes to forgiveness, because I know that word seems to trigger many, it seems like. I used to be triggered by that word back in the day. Oh, forgiveness, I'm not forgetting anything. They did this to me. I'm going to kill those assholes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do all this kind of stuff. Wanting revenge and holding grudges and all angry, bitter, resentful, all this kind of stuff you've been, you're holding in. The one thing I would said in that video that will help you when it comes to forgiving somebody or, or, or forgiving the situation so that you can move forward is just to look at it as healing your triggers. You don't have to use the word forgiveness if it's triggering to you or you can't get past the word forgiveness because it, whenever you've heard it, um, the, the person still got ran over again or whatever the case is, I don't know, whatever your, your history is with the word forgiveness, just use healing the triggers. It all encompasses forgiveness. It all encompasses healing. It's all the same thing, to be honest. At least in my eyes, it's all the same thing. Been going through this journey for I don't know how many years now, that kind of thing, and proving myself since I've been young. So like I said, definitely, I, I, I see it as all the same. And like I said, if healing the triggers works better for you, because like I said, it's still dealing with, if you want to use the word forgiveness, I just say if you cannot use that, just say heal the triggers. Healing the triggers mean to not allow that person, that situation, or that thing to, of course, keep affecting you the way it has been. When you hear that person's name or that thing's name or that um, situation's name or, or, or a situation similar to it, you won't get all upset, hollering, yelling, cursing, or get a bad attitude or feeling again like you're the victim or wanting to cry because you're so upset, this kind of thing. Healing those triggers means it helps you move forward. It helps give you the inner peace about whatever the hell happened. I don't know what happened, but whatever it happened, whether it was trauma, drama, a horrible experience that you've been through is all the same. No matter what you've been through, like I said, you, you can always heal these things. You don't have to live in, I'm the victim. This happened to me. I'm never going to improve. My life is always going to be the same. You don't have to live in that unless that's what you're choosing. I said that in the video as well. Like I said, you, you can hear, see, hear the whole thing over on that um speak your truth um page over on facebook like i said the link is in the description of this um on my page the link is in the bio yeah i'm getting confused the link is in the bio but like i said you have to make a decision to want to move forward and not stay in the same situation you have been regardless as to what happened to you i know i've told my story a little bit i'll tell more of it and how i used to the forgiveness in my life i guess i put it that way so i'll check y'all later i hope this helps somebody